Right, I thought the day would never come where I would get to chat with Kieran Tierney. But not only am I chatting to Kieran Tierney, but he has some big, big, big news. Yeah, I know every Arsenal fan is going to love the news that Kieran Tierney has to say. But Kieran, yeah, Yo. without further ado, yeah, let the people know what is that big news you have for all those Arsenal fans out there. You know what? I'm going to give you the honours. You can tell them. Oh, you can tell me? Listen. Love it better than me. Absolute honours. Listen, people. Kieran Tierney has signed the thing. Yeah, he is an <laughs> Arsenal player for a very, very, very long time. I hope forever. But you have signed a new contract at Arsenal. How does it feel? How does it feel to sign a new contract with us? Oh, it feels amazing. Um, firstly, when the manager on that came to me, he said, mm -hmm. we want you to extend your deal. Like, we're so happy with how you've came and stuff like that. It's just amazing for me to hear because I've worked hard since there, since I've joined. I had a hard first season with injuries and COVID and stuff, but last season it really picked up for me and the, the club have been brilliant with me, so I'm more than happy to extend it. Delighted. Absolutely love that. Uh, why, why have you signed? Why have you decided to sign on with us? Because I think the, the vision of the club and where it wants to go um, and the expectations of the club is where I want to be in football is, is at the top. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt about it. We're not where we want to be just now, um, but we're going in the right direction. The way the clubs run from the inside is, is amazing. I love everyone. I love all the staff. I love all the players. I love the manager. And just working with them is an absolute joy. Mm -hmm. So I think being happy in life, it speaks for a lot. And I'm, I'm happy just now. So yeah, I was more than happy to think about my future. That's brilliant. And you're talking about the future. I mean, the future looks very, very positive. You know, we've got a very young squad. You know, we've got people like Saka coming through, Smith Rowe coming through. Um, is that one of the, also one of the reasons why you wanted to commit? Because you could just see, like, the future is very, very bright. For sure. And the two players you mentioned there, they are world class and they will be for years and years. You can see how much, like, at times they, they carry the team this season when we needed a goal, when we needed an assist. These guys popped up for so young. Um, for players so young, it's, it's amazing to have that in the team and we've mixed with good experience as well. So it's a good team and we're only going to get stronger and we're only going to get better as well. Of course, when you was at Celtic, you was, you was an absolute fan favourite. And of course, that is the club that you supported growing up. Um, and they absolutely loved you. And you've come over here and we, we well, I speak for my, let me speak for myself. I absolutely love you, brother. Yeah, you've come here and actually set this place alight. Um, how... How is it feeling, the love that you get um, coming from a Celtic team that you supported as a, as, as a kid, coming here and getting the same love? To be honest, surprising straight away because obviously the love that I had at Celtic, I thought like you, could, you can't replicate that anywhere. Um, but from day one, the Arsenal fans have showed me so much love. They've been patient with me through injuries. Um, times where it's not going well, they've stuck with me, even messages on social media, seeing people yeah. on the street. And just, you just feel it. Even when you you put a picture up and you see the comments, it's just, it's just brilliant, and it gives you confidence. And I just can't wait to get fans back in the stadium now, and like because I'm more established as a player. First, I just went down there, nobody really knew who I was, mm -hmm. but now the fans know who I am a bit more. And I just can't wait to play in front of the game and kind of repay the faith and the support that they've given me. I love that. The fact that I feel like you came, you came as a, like an unlikely superstar, but you came, hit the ground running. Yeah, absolutely doing the business. Um, but I feel like you're bemused by it all and you're just very focused on just working hard. Yeah, making sure you give 110%. Is, is that truth? Is there truth in that? No, 100%. 100%. That's, I think that's probably why the fans like me as well. We bet they can take to me as like, Maybe they can relate to me as if, like, mm. if they were playing for Arsenal, they would play the same way that I'm playing. Like, maybe look to give a hundred percent, work hard in training, and also just play with a smile. See, when you enjoy playing football, you enjoy playing for a massive club, enjoy playing for the the amazing fans. Like, there's so much to be happy for just now. So why not just go and enjoy it and work as hard as you possibly can? And that's just kind of what I'm doing just now. Also, you said that Mikel was a, like a real big help to you uh, coming and getting you through the lockdowns and when you went through injuries as well. Who else? Was there any players that also had that same effect? Um, I would say everyone helped in their own way. Um, different people, especially when we came back from lockdown. Um, I was back fit, so I felt more in amongst it with the players. The ones that I'm mostly with would be like Rob Holden, Callum Chambers, even Emil Bacayo. Yeah. Um, and they helped me as well, without even knowing it, just welcoming me in the team, uh, making me feel part of it and just 
doing that and just keeping in touch really helped me as well. Um, but the staff, they helped me a lot, like a really a lot of much. Um, the physios, the doctor, the sports scientists, like the, all the coaches, the staff, like everyone at the club has been brilliant with me. Like the confidence that the managers gave me. And when I spoke to him after I signed this contract, I was like, just thank you so much because he's, he took me when my confidence was at my lowest for sure. 100% I was the lowest oh, really? confidence I felt after my injury and um, moving away from home. So I was so low and he's picked me up. He's helped me. Him and his staff are so grateful for what they've done. I never thought I would have that kind of connection so soon and mm. I really do. So now I'm delighted with that. What was like, what was your first day like? I was like coming through, you know, picking up the shirt, taking the pictures. How did you feel? I mean, I was so nervous, like <laughs> genuinely. Um, I think I've told this story before, but like I signed the same day as David Luiz. So like yeah, both yeah, of yeah, them yeah. day. And to me, this guy's a superstar. Like David mm. Luiz, he's won all these trophies. Like everyone knows who he is. Everyone in football, even if people don't watch football, they know David Luiz. Yeah, 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 yeah. The guy with the colour hair. Like they know who it is. <laughs> That's what they say. And I remember he was talking to me. And then when I went on Instagram Instagram last night, it said, like, follow back. So he followed me. I said, geez, oh, David Louise knows who I am. <laughs> no, right. Now you're living in London. Is there any, like, new stuff you've tried out? Any new foods or anything like that? Has any of the boys, like, te- taught you any new slangs? <laughs> oh, I'm learning the Cayo and the Mule have got the London slang. Uh, <laughs> kind of roadman stuff in it. When they, they, speak, <laughs> they call me the Scottish roadman, so I need right. to try and pick up the lingo a bit. For a while, I was calling you the, the Scottish road man, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> and, it's, and it's because you just have that fit, no, that that no fear in you, which I absolutely love. And another thing is that you don't care as well, you, bro. You're rolling around with Tesco bags, like like it's nothing. What's that all about? <laughs> yeah, that's, that is genuinely nothing. Eh? Like I had dirty boots, I just put them in a Tesco bag. Simple as that. And I, as I said before, my friends from like Scotland. They said, oh, you've changed. You've went big time. You used to shop in Aldi and Lidl's and now you're in Tesco. So I was getting hammered from my mates. Although everyone thought I was being humble, but my mates were saying I went big time. Oh, right. Yeah, but the thing is, it's it's kind of because you could have went, you know what, I want to go buy a proper bag. He's like, listen, I I need to put my boots in something. I ain't got time to go around the shops and go search for the best bag. Tesco bag's fine. Simple bag. Exactly. Five pence. No problem. Let's deal with it. Oh man, I absolutely love that. Another thing is that um, it seems, yeah, Kieran, that you don't feel weather. Are you actually cold or are you not cold? Is it just how you're used to training? Uh, so I remember doing it at Celtic when I was really young, like 15, 16. And then when I went into the first team, I was doing it, of course. And then it went well. So then it became more of a superstition. Oh, wow. And then the more that I'd done it, of course, I get a bit used to it. Like, I lived in Scotland, so it's yeah, not as yeah, bad down yeah. in London at all. But, like, the more I've done it, the more people have known me for doing it. Yeah. But I was like, oh, no, I can't go back. Even if I want to put a jumper on, I can't. It's too far now. Oh, so, so you're, you're suffering, mate. Just put on a jumper. <laughs> we don't want you to suffer. <laughs> the superstition is, I just keep doing it. I generally, to be honest, I don't like the feeling of long sleeves. Mm. Even when I was a kid, if I had a long sleeve shirt during the game, I would roll the sleeves up. And just kind of get all my short sleeved. Um, yeah. But Scott Brown at Celtic done it all the time as well. And yeah, he was my okay. hero. So I probably copied him a bit as well. Oh, that's brilliant. You said that Scott Brown was your hero. Did you? Was he like your idol growing up? And there was lots of idols. Like you had Henrik Larson as well. Oh, yeah. Um, and players like him. And obviously in modern times, Scott Brown would be the biggest Celtic yeah. legend hero there is. So there's no better player and captain to look up to than him. Um, and I still keep in touch with him, like I'm good friends with him today. Oh, that's brilliant. Is there anyone else out of, um, other than Scott Brown that you kind of looked up to um, growing up? Like anyone that you modelled your game on, maybe? Um, all the Celtic left backs growing up, I kind of looked at them. So one of the left backs was Emilio Azaguirre, oh, okay. and he yeah, played yeah. with Honduras as well. So growing up, I looked at players like him, but obviously, like world class players, you would look at like Roberto Carlos. And players like Marcelo and that as well that you would look up to are just geniuses. Um, and the Brazilian team back then was amazing to look up to as well. Oh, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Of course, um, I've also noticed uh, that you've kind of brought this new style into the Arsenal team as well. Like before, I weren't seeing anyone else doing that, especially in the Arsenal team. But you tuck in your shirt. Yeah, you're, you're like yeah. You're prim and proper. 
Yeah, you make sure you're coming when you come to the match. You're coming very professional. You're coming to do a job. We come to work exactly. Yeah, you come to do a job, and I'm gonna do that job. I've even seen Hector like adopt that kind of style. Yeah. Do you see yourself as like a a trendsetter stylist? No, really. Um, no, the way Hector dresses anyway, man. In it, um, I feel like you're doing something if you if Hector's following your 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 style. Yeah, you never know. It could click on one day. Maybe everyone will be doing it. More players, but. I just, I just like it. I just feel a bit more neater and tidier, as you said, we're here to do a job. <laughs> yeah. Get, get out, man. I know one. I'll let you know after. But I want, I want to know what your best moment in the Arsenal shirt has been so far. Probably winning the FA Cup for me, to be honest. Um, it's the first trophy. It was a, as I said, it was a low point in my life. Mm. So to come out at the end of the season with a trophy, back playing football, back enjoying it, and back bringing success to the, the club is was amazing for me so I would say that's probably the highlight yeah man definitely definitely a big highlight and listen we absolutely killed Chelsea in that final I loved every minute of it I, I went absolutely crazy um, when uh, Aubameyang did his thing um, but I also wanted to know of course you said that the FA Cup was one of your greatest highlights for me it was when you basically passed to yourself ran down the left wing cut in yeah, onto your right. Yeah, week of foot, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> and just curled it into the net. I was like, and even better is you did it in snow. You did it in your natural habitat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you did it in the things that you love to feel. Yeah, and yeah. you absolutely went crazy. Talk to me about scoring that goal against West Brom and the roar after was just mad. Like, yeah. Talk to me about that goal. No, I think that obviously everyone in the changing room, because we looked at the snow and everyone's like, oh, the game might be off because the pitch was covered, I think, at one point. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, no, I hope it's not. Like, I, I genuinely love playing in weather like this when it's cold and snowy. Um, and then the goal itself, like, I was just looking to go forward. I was looking to maybe get a cross in. And then I caught inside and no one, when a player probably sees me running inside, he's like, fine, leave him. He's not going to score with his right foot. <laughs> And then I've just, it's like a golf club. I just swung my leg like a golf club and it's just yeah. luckily went in for me, top corner. But now it's, it's probably one of the best goals I'll ever score, to be honest. So that goal there was absolutely amazing from you as well. Um, how was it um, being in a North London derby? You know, of course, we, we, we have that rivalry with them locked down the road. Um, what was it like in your first North London derby? And also, what was it like winning your first North London derby this season as well? Yeah. Yeah, we'll talk about the winning one because they're the yeah, best one. Yeah, we, we, um, we don't care about the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was brilliant because obviously they had beat us the first, the first one or two times I played. So I was like the last team I was yet to beat, and it's the team I want you want to beat the most. You know what I mean? Give something for the fans to cheer about, um, and to get the assist as well after going down. I, I was buzzing with that, and Martin to get his goal and. Um, it was it was lack of that penalty, wasn't it? Um, yeah, it yeah, won the yeah. game for us, and the composure to score in a moment like that um, was brilliant. And the feeling after winning a derby, like you feel it, you feel the confidence and the support from the fans ten times more than any other game because it's the game. Like when the fixtures come out, you look when when are we playing? Like them. Yeah. That's what that's what you think. When are we playing them? Um, and to win it's that quite, game for the fans is brilliant. And it's quite soon this season, isn't it? We've got them quite yeah. soon in early in the season. That's the one I'm waiting for. Kieran, please score. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, score a hat-trick in that game. Yeah, you're already well, a legend. Yeah, but if you score a hat-trick in that game, you'll be a legend forever. Yeah, you'll be an absolute <laughs> legend forever. Oh man, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. You signed the contract with us. You're going to be here for a, a very, hopefully, very long time. And I know this is great news to Arsenal fans watching this, listening to this uh, all around the world because we absolutely love you, yeah? Please, don't leave. Don't ever leave. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> please. Uh, but yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure, Kieran. And uh, yeah, hopefully next season uh, we can do the business, get back yeah. to where we need to be. Um, and uh, yeah, you, hopefully you'll be very, very involved in us getting there. What a man. Thank you so much, mate. Appreciate it.